welcome to JG's Fight Talk, sponsored by Rich's Boxing and Limitless Creations. And with me now, Franklin Ignatius. How you doing, Franklin? Hi, man. All good, all good. Thank you. Thanks for having me on your show, man. Honestly, mate, it's a privilege. And I'm not going to argue with you. Six foot three, no chance. <laughs> yeah, my box trick's even wrong. I'm actually six four. <laughs> six oh, four mate, and a half. So that's six, even scarier. <laughs> Honestly, mate, uh, privilege to have you on. And um, yeah. I know COVID hasn't been too friendly to you and um, no. just slowed things down a lot. But hopefully, That's true. touch wood, all is going well for October by the sounds of it. That's what we're looking forward to, man. October, I'm just waiting for things to be confirmed. But well, October looks like it's, that's going to be the gold date. And um, yeah, man, just uh, all systems go. I'm excited. So when 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 did you first start boxing, Franklin? How old were you? Um, I first started boxing when I was eighteen. Um, I, I started my first amateur club um, at uni called Golden Gloves. Yeah, yeah. Um, before, yeah, yeah. That, before that, I was exposed to boxing about sixteen through something called Box of Crime. Um, there was like a local thing they had in my area, and um, they brought me into boxing, but I didn't stop competing or anything like that until I was about 18. I had my first amateur fight at 19. Yeah, yeah. And how did you get on any amateurs? I'm, I done well. I, I had a short amateur career. only to had 20 amateur fights, but I managed to win the Haringey's and I managed to win the London Intermediate ABAs. So yeah, I done yeah. well. But quick. <laughs> Mate, that's good in 20 fights. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to I enjoyed it, man. But I was in my head I feel like for me, boxing was always about the pros. Right. So for me, it was like I was raring at the bit to go and get my chance at the pros, to be honest. But um, obviously, things had to fall in place and things had to make sense. So, yeah. but when when the sense, I took it. So when you when you went into the amateurs, did you automatically know that the pros is where I want to be straight away? You know the funny thing, yeah, it was actually my first ever spa. My first ever spa, it was, I don't even know if the guy will remember it, it's been years ago, but I was, uh, I was cocky, I was 18, 19, <laughs> I thought, oh, this is a piss, nah, I, I can't even lie, like, I, I thought this is nothing, piece of piss, like, I'm gonna go in there, it ain't nothing, do you know what I mean? I went in there, and a middleweight, um, by the nickname of Shady, Daniel, yeah, he busts me up, he won, I think he won, like, uh, uh, Northwestern, I can't remember what it was, I think a Northwestern ABAs or something. Right. So he was looking for the going to the elites, right? But yeah. obviously he's a middleweight, and I've always been big, so I don't care if ah, this ain't nothing. Man, he punched the ass. <laughs> I bust my nose, <laughs> literally. And I, I left the ring, and I said to myself, "I want to do this for a job." I can't believe people do this and get paid and make a living out of this. I want to do this for a job, and I, and for me, it was all about getting to the stage where I could do this for a living. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, man, it was, I knew the first part that I, would, I wanted to do this for a job. I didn't know what he entailed. Like, I, I was very, um, uh, even now, I'm still learning, I think. I'm still learning even now. But at the time, I was, I had no idea what boxing would entail. Because obviously, you can't, you can't know what boxing is really about from just one spot. Yeah, yeah. But I knew I was, I, was, I was willing to do this. And I was going to, willing to go through the, the learning process, whatever that may be. Do you know what I mean? So, I, I, yeah, I love that, two... Franklin. I love the fact that you went in, had a spa, he bust you up, and you thought, I've got to do this for yeah. time. <laughs> what the hell? For real, <laughs> you know what it was? It was the feeling. While you were in there, it was the feeling that you feel like you're free. It's weird yeah. to explain, but you, I felt free. I was like, this is an amazing feeling. Do you know what I mean? I never really, like, I never really felt outside of boxing anywhere was a good fit for me. But in the ring, I just felt free. And that, for you to be able to do this for a living, I thought it was amazing. So I said, no, nah, this is what I wanted to do. I'll just go yeah. through the learning process. So, well, yeah, I've, man. I've only done like a, I'm, I only did like a white qualify for charity. But even getting in the ring for that was just that feeling of, you've got the feeling of fear. But at the same time, you've got the feeling of, I've got to do Ooh, something. Yeah, I don't want to look an idiot in front of all my mates. And, and facts, facts, facts. It's, it's it's, it's a feeling you can't describe to people that haven't done it. It's a, For real, it's a weird one as well. I feel like before you get in there, there's all these overthinking in your head, but the moment the punches are being thrown, you just go into this fight or flight mode of just survive. Do you know what I mean? And then 
in that mode, it's like everything else just disappears and you're just in the moment. And I think, it, I feel like it's very freeing. Yeah, yeah. You know, it felt very freeing to me. So, yeah, man. Yeah. So, you had your first pro fight in December t- uh, 2019 against yeah. a, the Nozovic. Yep. Um, her he, Govic, name was, I can't remember. Oh, her Govic, I can't remember what his name was. Well, something. <laughs> yeah. You got the TKO huh? in the fourth round. Um, yes, I did. So I bet you're, as I say, just buzzing, aren't you, mate? You know, how, how was that feeling in the first fight? You know what it was? I'd been sparring so many aggressive fighters. It sounds weird, but I kind of expect them to come at me as well. So yeah. when the fight started and he was negative straight away and, like, I think he came at me for, like, the first 30 seconds and I threw a one-two and then he thought, yeah, fuck this. And he was just <laughs> pedaling back. It was weird. And I kind of... It, you don't... It's difficult to prepare for, especially if you're sparring live sparring partners. And I was always sparring, like, pros and guys that were going on to fight for titles or whatever. So I was always fighting live guys. So when you're not having that in a pro fight or someone's going backwards, you're thinking, what the hell's going on here? And then it's like, you have to kind of make that adjustment. And yeah, yeah. Um, I think I made that adjustment and I realized, okay, I'm going to have to put the pedal to the floor and kind of get this guy out of here. And I just started putting the shots together and got him out of there. That's literally all it was. But yeah, it was a good experience for sure. It was a very good learning experience. Yeah, yeah. And as you yeah. say, it's, it's not too long, hopefully, until you get that experience again. Um, on yeah. hopefully a Frank Warren show, and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, it'll almost be like a new, a new debut in a, in a weird way, almost yeah. because it's like even though I have I know what the pro rings like because I've been there now, it's like it's almost two years out now, so yeah, it's yeah. like oh, like but that was two years ago. In those two years, obviously, luckily I've stayed in the gym most of the time. I don't think I've, I've barely really had time out except for that first lockdown. So I've been growing and developing. I'm now going back again in that spotlight, in all those things. And obviously, sparring is very different to performing under the lights. Yeah, yeah. But all, from that first profile, I don't. I never struggled. I, I, I just, I just didn't struggle with with dealing with nerves and all that thing. And I don't think I would struggle this time either. I'm normally quite cool with that stuff. But um, yeah, I think it will be it will be like almost like a second debut again. And I'm looking forward to it for sure. Oh, honestly, mate, I can't wait to see you in the ring. Six foot four. Look, you're like the BFG, though. You seem like the most chilled out, friendliest guy. Um, oh, I, honestly, I wouldn't want to be in a ring with you. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest. But um, yeah, I, I can't wait. If we get to see you on TV, I think people are gonna fall in love with you, mate. I think you've got you've got the right attitude and and just. There's a there's a real cool aura around you, and uh, and I think people will really like that. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Appreciate no, so that. I just can't wait, man. I think it's just now. It's just... Go on. Hope, hopefully, we'll get to see you out in October, and um, it all happens. You have to stay in touch, mate. And um, yeah, let me know when you get that fight day, and we'll get you back on. Definitely, man. I definitely will, man. Thanks for meeting me. Man. Thanks for having me in the first place. <laughs> Uh, no problem at all. And frankly, as I say, I wish you all the best for the future, mate. And um, before you go, uh, the big guy that you are, we've obviously got more big guys coming up. Um, AJ versus Usyk. How do you see um, that one going? You know, yeah, I, I was actually talking with that about that fight not too long ago. Um, I actually think to myself, it should be a Joshua late stoppage for two reasons. Because, one, Usyk hasn't demonstrated to me that he has the power to hurt heavyweights. I've watched his heavyweight fights. And it's an old cliche. You don't have to have one punch knockout to be an effective heavyweight. But you need the power to hurt people yeah, with yeah. one shot. So, no, nah, I don't want to get clipped. But Usyk hasn't shown me that. He can move well. He's always moved well. Very good combination punch. A very smart fighter as well. Very astute. But even with Chizora, Chizora gassed out really round two, three, and he couldn't get him out of it. So yeah. I think to myself, well, can you really stop AJ? How? I can't see that. You have to outbox him. And I know people make a lot of disparaging remarks about Joshua in terms of his boxing because he's not a fury, 
which is fair enough. But Joshua is an Olympic gold medalist for a reason. The man can box. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd expect him to use his jack and slowly start to pin Usyk down. I think he might even... I think Usyk would probably win at least the first two or three rounds, in my opinion. Just because he's fresh, he's got good movement. But yeah. that time, that weight and the size difference will start to show as the, as the fatigue sets in. That's my yeah, opinion. Yeah. But we'll well, just, yeah, I think we'll have to wait and see. Well, I've got you on then. Would I'm you? Gonna chuck, I'm going to chuck the other one at you. I'm going to chuck the other one at you. No, go um, the fight. What do you think about um, Fury and Wilder, how do you see it going? Is it going to happen? For starters. Ooh. Ooh. It will definitely happen just because of the contract. Yeah. <laughs> Find that damn contract, man. It's definitely going to happen just because of the contract. Oh, I better, mate. Goes. After all um, this, but... it's Yeah, mate. Wilder's not going to let it go, man. The guy is adamant. He wants that rematch. But come hello high water. Um, I just... I just can't see what Wilder can do different. That's my honest yeah. opinion. Yeah. Fury beat him going forward. Fury beat... Well, Fury knocked him out going forward. And I boxed him going backwards. So, how is he going to beat him? And yes, maybe if Wilder developed a sustained body work, could slow Fury down, land the top right down the stretch. But I just can't see him being able to have developed his boxing skills that much. We've never really seen him go to the body, ever. It's not what he does. Yeah, no yeah. offense to, to Wilder, because like I said, the one punch power, he's got the shotgun in his right hand. But <laughs> I've never yeah. seen him break someone down. Yeah. He just I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he can range. do it. I don't think he can do it. I don't it. think he can do it either. Nah. He's not the type of fighter to break Fury down. He isn't. You need yeah, someone yeah. that, in my opinion, to beat Fury, because Fury, every, I think every heavyweight is beatable. To beat Fury, you'd need a mid-range puncher that can break him down, slow his feet down, and then trap him, and then slowly stop him. You're probably going to lose rounds early on. And you're going to have to accept that you're going to lose rounds early on and then slowly get to him. You're not going to... Who's that guy then, Franklin? Who's that guy? <laughs> From the current crop, we'll see. We'll see <laughs> more than... Yeah, I'm not going to... You know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I think... So you're going we'll for a see. Fury win? Yeah. I think right now, in my opinion, Fury is the best heavyweight out of the, out of the champions right now. In my opinion, he's the hardest. He's just the most complete fighter. He's the most complete fighter. We've heard it from you. It must be right. (laughs) On the map of the profit. (laughs) (laughs) No, honestly, Franklin, thanks for coming on, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on. And as I say, stay in touch, mate. And um, yeah, we look forward to hearing your fight news when it gets announced. And um, good luck for the future, mate. You're a top guy. I appreciate it. You too, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you take care. Um, Thank you for your time. Easy. Thanks, mate. Bye. Bye. Well, Franklin Ignatius. What a name. Um, Got the job done back in uh, December 2019. It's been a while now, but he's ready to come back. Hopefully, he's got the Frank Warren card in October. I'd love to see that guy in action. Six foot four. And, um, yeah, what a nice guy. Absolute quality. And um, he's put his predictions there, and they're going to be right. So I'm not going to argue with him. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you head over to YouTube, hit the subscribe button on JG's Fight Talk, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Are you ready?